Hello friends, you are most welcome to this particular class. We will be looking at gains from trade. Of course, when we say trade here, we are looking at international trade. Okay, and I remind your facilitator, Dr. Marco Achukwoji, it is important to know that there are two major deficiencies in terms of um, trade and you know, gains from trade. First, we have dynamic gains and we have static gains. So we'll look at the static gains and we'll look at the dynamic gains in international trade. So straight we'll go to the first one, static gains from trade. By the way, when we say static, we mean those gains that are like short-term gains. Things the economy could benefit from international trade in the short term. Why the dynamic gains are those things that are long term and they seem to be perpetuating themselves is a process that continues for a very long time. Okay, so just bear that at the back of your mind. So, what are those um, static gains from trades? The first one is maximization of production. Maximization of production. According to the classical economics, gains from trade result from two key things. Division of labor and specialization. And so when there is division of labor, people focus more in producing a particular thing. And by so doing, they produce more. And specialization, they master better ways of producing it. And that is why Ricago said, according to Ricago, that gains from trade is as a result of service of costs resulting from obtaining imported goods through trade instead of the local production. Instead of producing something locally where you spend more money trying to produce it, making the cost higher and you decide to import it at a lower cost. That is part of what he considers as gains from trade. Okay, so this is the first point in dynamic. What do we call it? Maximization of production. So more things are produced. Another one is increase in welfare. To, to keep it simple, when more things are being produced, cost of production is lower, people are able to buy those things and they enjoy more. And that is why international trade, given division of labor and specialization, it helps in increasing trade. People produce more and they trade it. As a result, the consumption of goods increases and that enhances welfare of the people. Ricardo said that the extension of international trade very powerfully contributes to increase in the mass of commodity. More commodities are produced, therefore meaning more enjoyment. Those things that you couldn't have enjoyed because it wasn't produced are now produced, so it enhances your welfare as a citizen. Now, the other one is increase in national income. Of course, when a country has specialized in a particular product and they exchange it in trade for other products, they tend to increase their national income. And of course, that will go along with enhancing economic growth in the country. So, the first one, remember, is maximization of production. Second one, increase in welfare. The third one, increase in national income. And the fourth one, is expansion of um, of opportunity we we'll call it vent for surplus now gain from trade when 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 there is openness of an economy the land that would have been idle people will come there and invest labor that wouldn't have got any job could get job because there is this you know um transaction across border and, and the resources that would have been idle will get into being, you know, will be utilized. So it opens, that is vent, it opens the world market to a, a local economy. That is why Adam Smith's vent, you know, th that explains Adam Smith's vent for surplus from gain. That he's saying those things that wouldn't have been utilized in production get now utilized. So note the four dynamic gains we have mentioned was the first one again i hope you still remember production maximization of um, production and then the second one is increase in welfare and the third one is what you remember 
the third one is increasing in the national income and the fourth one is the vent for surplus you know so what would have been small you know the, the, the facilities the resources are utilized to increase output in terms of dynamic we also look at the dynamic and what are the dynamic gains from trade first is the efficiency in employment of resources for instance if the whole world is open for everybody to gain job everywhere across the country you start applying you discover that the issue of nepotism the issue of when people getting job they don't deserve will reduce because everybody we want to look for the best he can obtain anywhere so there is efficiency in employment of resources like labor like capital like land you know you, you build one story building i mean a bungalow somebody wants to feel that that land can be utilized for you know a, a skyscraper they will price it for you so resources are more utilized and the third one is that it widens the market a major indirect dynamic the first one is actually dynamic benefit and this one is in dynamic benefit it widens the market it expands the market and when the market is expanded it gives room for the utilization of machinery in production it encourages invention innovation and then productivity of labor of course when these are done low cost of production will result so it widens the market the, th the third one is development of other activities when an economy starts producing more goods for exports and the important things other economics other activities that wouldn't have been there will begin to you know sprinkle up for instance infrastructure could begin to come up shopping complexes will begin to come up primary sectors that we are producing only for basic things can begin to produce for exports and then tertiary sectors could enter into services okay so these are things that that's the the, the, the third one expansion of other um, other activities the, the fourth one is increasing investment it opens investment and this investment is something that could be coming year by year and uh, so, so that's why we say it's dynamic it doesn't just happen once it keeps happening as long as the economy remains open okay so you begin to see supplementary you know production of exports for exports leading to so many other things into the economy so it it increases investment into that economy so these are the four dynamic um, um, gains from trade remember the first one efficiency of employment of resources the second one it widens the market the third one it develops other activities other other, other activities in the economy both the people exporting and those importing and the fourth one it expands investment okay and that is why we want to conclude here so we have shown you the two aspects the static and the dynamic gains and i'm sure you should be able to discuss it anyway it, it, it becomes increasingly difficult to treat international trade in isolation or treat um, international investment in isolation or immigration in isolation they, they all are intermingled trade often requires supporting investment and movement of labor okay so for instance improved transportation and communication permits international organizations to be able to outsource their productions to different countries of the world you know and where those resources are best you know production can 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 be done in a cheaper way and that goes a long way developing different economies all right and then when people begin to move around like we discussed in labor mobility make people often move around with trade and, and, and investment flow so that is the dynamic and the static profit from trade and we're going to stop somewhere there um thank you very much for joining us in this class okay do have a nice day cheers